So today's a very interesting video. As soon as Remote ID came out, and Remote ID apps like Drone Scanner came out, I wanted to test what Remote ID really meant in the field. Um, I have a couple of test devices, and just this morning I got an update that the Air 2S was actually going to support um, Remote ID. So the firmware update has gone out. Don't mind the Osmo action. I just want to get a unique perspective on it. And I'm out here with every single one of my test devices, which I will show you in a second, to see what it actually means for Remote ID to actually be out. What does it mean from the drone side? How likely is it for somebody to pick up your Remote ID? And other things like that. are my test devices and as you can see I am an idiot trying to focus on screens when I could just show you the screen recording but here's the punchline an older BlackBerry device like this one and this Android tablet are not capable of actually receiving any beacons from remote ID the iPhone line anything that's made by Apple as far as all the way up to iPhone 14 I have basically tested with friends and we have found that most of them can support old legacy Bluetooth beacons, but not Wi-Fi beacons or anything even more complex than that. So your iPhone series will never be able to pick up the Wi-Fi beacons that your Air 2S or Mavic 3 or Mini 3 Pro will ever put out. Okay, so no need to be worried on that. And then we get to the fancier Android models. Now, this Motorola G7 and my Pixel 4a are both my own personal devices and the Motorola G7 can actually capture non-Wi-Fi NAND beacons and then the Pixel 4a can capture all the beacons from Wi-Fi and we're going to see what it looks like to try to take off with the Pixel 4a with the Air 2s set it to a hyperlapse and see if we are able to actually capture any remote ID beacons while it's in the air. Let's check it out. A quick narration here, when you switch back to DJI Fly from any other app, Remote ID gives you an error, but it actually says that the functionality is fine. And I also was testing whether or not there were beacons being emitted while you were landing, which is a question that I get all the time. So this flight is pretty boring. While I'm maintaining visual on the site, I'm continuously looking at the Motorola versus the Pixel to see if I capture anything, but I don't see anything until around 535, where I go into the Wi-Fi menu and I see a brand new access point on the G7 called RID something or other. I try to connect to it, no difference. I don't see any beacons and I don't even see that on my Pixel 4a. But when I come back to land, I actually try to hover over the landing spot.
So after landing, I have officially figured out that this is going to be a problem. Not a single one of my devices, not even the Pixel 4a or the Moto G7 were able to pick up the beacons, even though they are both supporting Wi-Fi beacons. Uh, when I brought the drone close by, I did see the wireless access point on my Pixel and with the Motorola I saw it a lot further out. Trying to connect didn't make a difference. And after 18 minutes of flight, I have exactly zero beacons captured from remote ID. Cool. So yes, the remote ID boogeyman is here. The products are now remote ID compliant, but in actual practice, the iPhones won't pick up remote ID beacons unless they're Bluetooth, which is not what DJI is using. They might pick up the beacons from add-on modules. The Android phones, there's a list of the ones that support Wi-Fi beacons and work. And honestly, it's 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 hit or miss whether or not it will actually work. So as of today, even though you update your drone to be remote ID compatible, you're probably still fine. I do think somebody's gonna come out with a thing just like DJI Aeroscope that allows you to pick up everything in Bluetooth, Wi-Fi or whatnot. They're gonna charge ten, twenty thousand dollars for it and every single airport or police station will buy one so that they can have a drone detection thingy that they can show off and use or whatnot. That's it. There's nothing else. Um, that's what it looks like today.